it, it scarred me. It scarred me when I was young and it wasn't even for me. Trust mm-hmm. me, there's tons of times where like it was for me, but there was one specific time um, that I remember with my brother, Colin, and we went to CYFD. Are you familiar with? No, I'm not. Child, um, youth, CYF, family department, children's youth and family department. Okay, okay. So essentially when I was young, they took me out of my home and then they gave me to CYFD and they put me in their custody. So they had parental rights over me. It's mm-hmm. an agency that looks over kids that pretty much don't have anywhere to go. And so I would go to there to visit my younger siblings and to have uh, supervised visits with them while they were in a different foster home because I was in a different one. And I went there one day and my brother Colin was there. And I didn't get to spend a lot of time with him. And he was my older brother. He was my idol. I just yeah. loved him. I just hadn't seen him in a while. And he was in a different foster home. Mm-hmm. And I was leaving the visit. I got into um, an Escalade. And the only reason that's important is because of the symbolism of it, right? Okay. The foster family that I had at the time really cared about their kids. So they had two biological kids, Jacob and Patrick. And uh, they they loved these kids so much and believed in them that they're they had this nice es- they had a few vehicles but they're like you take the Escalade and so and they drove me that day my my siblings mm-hmm. and so I got in this Escalade which at the time I didn't even realize was like a privilege I just got in there because they're taking me home and then we're leaving um, and oh I'm sorry let me rewind a, a tiny second when I had uh, walked out I ran into my brother Colin who lived in a different foster home. And uh, he was like, hey, do you think you guys can give me a ride? And I was like, I don't know. Like, why? I was a kid. And I was like, why are you asking me? Like, I don't feel comfortable asking them. Right. I, well, you, he just like, kind of pressured me a little bit. Like, well, you just ask him. And I'm like, all right, like, I'll, I'll ask him. I couldn't do it. I got to the car and they're like, you ready to go, Will? And I was like, yeah. And I got in the car and I remember thinking, like, I feel like I failed him a little bit. And we got in the Escalade and we're driving. And I look over and I saw my brother Colin at a bus stop. Yeah. And I, he's super creative and he's a survivor mm. and I'm sure he figured out like, I'm just gonna have to catch his bus. And so we're driving and we stopped at the light and I looked to the left and he's at that bus stop. And I just felt like I had failed him. Mm-hmm. Like I remember looking over at him, just seeing him standing there. I don't know what he felt like, but I remember looking at him like, man, like I couldn't even stick up for my own brother. Like I, I don't have a backbone. Who am I? I'm here like at a visit. Like I'm supposed to be this guy, you know? And I remember just looking over there, just feeling like, God, like I just, I just felt like such like, sh- like that feeling. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm relating it to yours because I imagine that's how he felt. Yeah. He's like, man, I'm sitting at a bus stop. No one's coming for me. I have one bi- biological sibling that's capable of taking me somewhere. Yeah. And I'm watching him drive away in this Escalade. Yeah. And I remember feeling what it must have felt like from his perspective and mm-hmm. just feeling like shit about it. Absolutely. And I, I just still couldn't. Like, I remember there was a moment I'm like, I could tell him now. Like, and they probably would have. They're nice guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just couldn't do it. And yeah. we drove away and we lived in Mesquite at the time, which is a 20 minute drive from yeah, where yeah. we're at. And, uh, the whole time and it pre cell phone. Um, I didn't know what family he was in. I knew I wouldn't see him again for months. Yeah. And I remember thinking like, dude, I, I literally abandoned my older brother at a bus stop and that feeling sucked. Oh yeah. And I remember when I got older and got more confident and I felt comfortable being social with people, I remember that feeling and I'm like, I don't want to ever feel that ever again. And right. I don't want anyone else to feel that either. Yeah. 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 Is that, I'm telling a story about how it made me feel on the other way around. Is that similar to what you were saying? That's that's super similar.